I want to start off with this bullshit fake scandal with Governor Cuomo uh, in New York. This is uh, the radio clip I'm going to play you. Cuomo was on uh, a radio show, and he made a comment that the right wing is freaking out about. The gridlock in Washington is less about Democrats and Republicans. It's more about extreme Republicans versus moderate Republicans. And the moderate Republicans in Washington can't figure out how to deal with the extreme Republicans, and the moderate Republicans are afraid of the extreme conservative Republicans in Washington, in my opinion. You're seeing that play out in New York. Uh, the SAFE Act, uh, the Republican Party uh, candidates are running against the SAFE Act. It was voted for by moderate Republicans who run the Senate. Uh, their problem is not me and the Democrats. Their problem is themselves. Who are they? Are they these extreme conservatives who are right to life, a poor assault weapon, anti-gay? Is that who they are? Because if that's who they are, and if they are the extreme conservatives, they have no place in the state of New York. So this because that's not who New Yorkers are. If they're moderate Republicans, like in the Senate right now, uh, who control the Senate, mm -hmm. moderate, Repu moderate Republicans have, have a place in the state. Okay, now understand, he's talking about politicians there. He's not talking about the general population. He's not talking about your average Joe. And his comment was factual. It was an empirical statement of fact about the way New York politics is. He's saying, of course, we have some Republicans that get elected. If you go upstate there, it's almost uh, totally red when, the further north you go in New York. But what happens is they are moderate Republicans. They're not these Tea Party types that, you know, believe these things. And then he li listed off the different positions. And he says, those types of Tea Party Republicans, the far-right Republicans, they're not welcome in the state. Now, remember, he's talking about elected officials. He's talking about those kinds of politicians aren't welcome in the state because they never get elected. So they're not welcome by the people. The people, the furthest right they'll go is a, a moderate Republican by today's standards. So uh, conservative commentators have taken this quote completely out of context, twisted it, and tried to pretend like he's saying that no far-right people are welcome in the state of New York. Like somehow he's going to go around with a giant bus knocking on the doors of the people who are far-right Republicans and say, hey, get in the bus, we're going to ship you out of here, we're sending you to, you know, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, or something like that. That's not what he's saying, you dumbasses. Don't twist his words. Don't try to pretend like he's saying that there's no Republicans allowed in the state. That's garbage. That's nonsense. It's not true. He's got no problem with the average Joe guy who might disagree with him politically and might vehemently disagree with him politically. He's talking about, it's a statement of fact. The elected officials are moderate Republicans if they're Republicans. They're not far-right Republicans. Those guys are not welcome in the state. He's not saying prescriptively, let's, uh, let's, let's not welcome these guys in the state. Let's round up all the Republicans who are far right and ship them out of here. But Glenn Beck threatened to renounce his citizenship over this comment. Are you really that stupid? Are you really that dense that you either don't understand what he said or you're just lying about what he said and pretending like he said something more outrageous than the factual thing he did say? Sean Hannity said he, he might leave New York because of this. Ha! Oh, Sean, please, man, don't get me excited. You know, I get, uh, I felt it, it was like a breath of fresh air when I read that headline. Sean Hannity might leave New York. He's gonna, he's threatening to leave New York. Oh, we're gonna miss you so much, Sean. Please don't go. We, we want you to stay here and spew your Republican propaganda and your hatred. Uh, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out is what I have to say about that. But the fact that the Republicans take something like this, the commentators, and then they pretend like it's something it's not, and they run it on a loop, and they talk about it ad nauseum. There's already been like four segments about this on Fox News. Glenn Beck was talking about it all morning on The Blaze. It shows you that these aren't serious people. They don't want to have a policy conversation. They don't want to have a discussion about the issues because they know they'll get their ass kicked. So what do they do? They have to pretend like they're persecuted. You play the victim. And the irony always is that it's these guys who say that liberals and Democrats play the victim. You're playing the victim right now. What are you talking about? As we speak, you, you're currently playing the victim. 